Bob Pratt. Well, I practically lived for it, to tell you the truth. They worked didn't mean anything to me, but playing football on the Saturday meant everything. Bob Pratt was South Melbourne's spearhead when storekeeper Archie Crofts lined his shelves with the best players from around Australia, the Foreign Legion. Pratt is the only survivor of South's last premiership in 1933 and still shares the all-time goal-kicking record for his 150 in 1934. The same year, he declined a 100-pound bribe from gangsters betting on the grand final. See, 100 pound in those days was, was really big money. And who was behind that? Squizzy Taylor. South lost in 34, and the following year was hot favourite against Collingwood. But on the Thursday before the final, Pratt was hit by a truck carrying bricks through High Street Paran. I was walking up Hoddle Street, and an old woman said to me, she said, what do you think tomorrow, Harry? I said, look, I said, if Pratty wasn't in that bloody side, I think we'd win. And God blimey, when I got the paper, and what do you think's on the front of the paper? The Bob Pratt in injured. Yeah. Hit the truck. Hudson has got three. He's equal Bob Pratt's record of 150. We put this one through. How he must feel. Oh, he's no more than...